Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm using this new microphone, and actually that's uh, something I need to talk about. Is that I accidentally... Okay, so, I tried to use the microphone earlier, but uh... I didn't set it up properly, so it didn't actually record any audio. So, I've already done this, like, once before. So I'm probably going to go through this pretty quickly. It was a few days ago, so by now I'm, like, you know, less jaded of the God damn it! I have to redo everything. But, I didn't really do that much. I got halfway through the fifth dungeon. Uh, this doesn't lead anywhere. Just FYI. Also, wait. Okay, so I killed those two Octoroks last time. They gave me a piece of power. I killed them this time. Gave me a piece of power. Is this just... Is this just going through the same thing as last time? What if... What if I went into the past when I pressed the load states button? Anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, buy a raft for 100 rupees. Which isn't really a good idea. I mean, normally I wouldn't be for this. But, I might as well show off what this actually does. So, the raft is pretty much just... It... It's... It's... I don't really know. You use it to... Oh, damn, I missed that already. Use it to go down these rapids. Actually, I believe going up is a better idea there. Yeah. Laser! Yeah, going up was a way better idea there. Oh, crap. Oh, I can still make it. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Wow, I, I made 10 rupees on this so far. Alright. 30 rupees. 40 rupees. I don't believe I can get these. I don't even know why they're there. Alright, well I got that. Alright, so I lost 60 rupees on that deal. So you may be wondering what the hell's the point. It was mostly just to... It was mostly just to, uh... Have a shortcut. That, that, um... That hole right there, by the way, leads you to the hole that I showed off earlier. So that's just a way to go underneath the rapids. And back up to the raft shop. In case for some reason you wanted to go again. Also, I believe that goes to a fairy fountain. Let's go ahead and uh, go down here real quick. And we talk to the owl. Hoot! There are two shrines, one to the north and one to the south. First, head south where ancient ruins speak of the wind fish. You will learn much there, hooty hoot hoot. Alright, so let's head south. Last time I did this, I just headed south anyway. I, keep, I hate this maze. I just headed south anyway. And then when you go back to that spot, he tells you, Oh, you need to go south. He's like, bro, I, I already did. He's like, go south! I'm like, okay. But I didn't. I, I went into the next dungeon. Alright, so... Welcome to the south uh, shrine. These here are Armos. Yay. I don't like Armos. I never really liked them that much. And in this game, they're pretty annoying. Oh, god damn it. Ruining the music. Guardian Acorn. I don't even think Guardian Acorns actually do anything anymore. I don't think they stack with the uh, blue armor. The best way to kill Armos, it seems, is with uh, that. But let me check other items. Just shoot that guy. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Alright, now there's a, uh, hidden thing that you can get here. Okay, you can kill him with, ar with arrows. Sweet. If you go in here, I believe this is a, uh, well, it's 20 rupees. But that's only because I already have all the secret seashells. Press the wrong button. I already have all the secret seashells, so I can't get any more secret seashells. Whoop. I guess if you kill Armos with uh, arrows, they always drop arrows. Yeah! Awesome. 
So, alright. Arrows are a good way to kill Armos. Then again, it only drops you one arrow, so... But you need arrows in order to kill this guy, I'm pretty sure. Because there's a mini-boss here. He's actually pathetically easy. All you need is the rock's feather to jump when he jumps and then just keep shooting him. And boom! Pathetically easy boss! Face key. That face is just like, huh, what? Okay. Alright. Welcome to this place. Let's go ahead, whoops, just sprinkle dust on it. There's a picture carved on the wall, but you can't see it because it's too dark in here. Well, let's go ahead and light it up. To the Finder! The Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human monster see sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. That's right! Say hello to, like, the first huge plot twist in Zelda history. This Koholin Island is a dream that's been mentioned before. However, it's a dream that if you wake up the Windfish, it will die. Everything in this world will die. Hoot, I see you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the Windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the Windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will know for sure! So if we wake up, we die. However, the only way to even get out of here is to wake up. That's been mentioned before as well. So what do we do? Do we wake up the Windfish? and kill Marin, kill our friends, kill everyone to, in order to go back home to Hyrule and live a nice happy life with Zelda, I guess? I don't know. I don't know why the hell he left in the first place. Stop that! Stop it. I hate Armos. Those are really annoying. I don't want to waste any more arrows, so I'm not bothering to kill them. Luckily, I'm pretty sure this is the only place Armos are in the game, so no need to worry about that. Whoops! I hate this maze. I hate this maze! Hazy Maze Cave. That's a game I need to replay. Oh boy. That'll be fun times for everyone. No, seriously, it's a good game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Mario. Whoop! Alright, so we need to go into this river here. Let's go ahead and equip my arrows, because I'm going to need to kill this guy. He drops an arrow anyway, so what does it matter? Whoops. I think this one's going longer than the last one, actually. Ironic. Hopefully I finish this... Actually, I know I'm going to finish this dungeon quicker than I did last time, because I, I was lost. I was like, what do I do? I don't... I don't know stuff. But now I do. So, uh... Yay! Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I just... I just like this face. He's just like, oh! Oh, you're sticking things in me. Oh, my. Oh. My. Damn it, TK! <laughs> Watch Marzen, he laughs at his bad jokes. Level 6, the face shrine. Oh, did I say Armos were the most annoying enemies? I meant whiz robes. I meant whiz robes. Whoop! Alright, first things first. Go ahead and kill these guys. Uh, blow up in this wall. Go ahead and, uh, 
blow up in this. Oh, damn it, I went the wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Alright, good. The way to open up this door is right here. Going up there only leads you to an owl statue, by the way. Let's go ahead and grab some arrows. Oh, wizard robes! Go ahead and grab some hearts, because I could use them. Damn it, I thought I had my sword out. <laughs> A man should always have his sword out. <laughs> Here's the stone beak. We already know where the owl is. It's down there to the bottom right. Now, how could we possibly open this door? I wonder. You got the compass! Now you can see where chests and things are hidden. Let me tell you about the new feature that's been a new feature for six dungeons. So obviously, you don't know it. Let's go ahead and, uh, kill this. Get some bombs, because I could use some of those as well. Alright. Time to show off the best way to kill Wizrobes. Arrows? Actually, no. Not arrows. Bombs. Arrows are good too, but... Oh, what? There we go. Friggin' fairy got in the way. It takes like five arrows to kill a wizard. Which is fine, but I'm kind of, you know... I, 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 I have this thing about wasting arrows. I'm always like, what if I waste arrows? And then I absolutely need them. Same with bombs. Like, I get really finicky if my bombs or arrows gets too low. I'm pretty sure I need to blow this open. Ow. God damn whiz robes! I hate whiz robes, they're stupid. Wait, no. Damn it! I was supposed to. I don't think that'll work. Nope. Alright. There we go. Now let's go through this hole I randomly blew in the wall earlier, because I am a freaking. I don't know. I like blowing holes in walls. What's wrong with that? I like blowing holes. <laughs> that joke made more sense in my head. You kill all these guys in the weird elephant room. Goombas! I was I also really like these ball guys. Oh, I think I need to Yep. You think I'd remember that? <laughs> Kinda pissed me off last time. I was like, God damn it guys, don't make me backtrack. Dick move. At least the stairway stays there, so I don't have to kill the chew jellies anymore. Go ahead and blow open this again. He dies a horrible death. I think the best thing about this new microphone is that it doesn't pick up my keyboard noise. Because that's one of the things that really annoyed me about my old microphone, is it picked up the keyboard noise and it made ugly sounds sometimes if I'm like in the middle of like a battle or I need to like press the button a lot. This should kill them both. Yeah! Whoops. Oh, sweet! Hey, look! It's the item of the dungeon! Didn't expect that! You've got a more powerful bracelet. Now you can almost lift a whale! Or the windfish. Let's go ahead and, uh... That would be hilarious. Just pick up the windfish. Alright, you can pick up these elephant statues now. This room looks familiar. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, go th this way instead. 
I might as well go through here. Laser! Sorry. You got a hundred rupees. You're happy. Even though I do not need them. Whoa, I moonwalked with that elephant statue. Oh, I, did, I forgot how to moonwalk. Oh well. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Now we are completely full on rupees. Yay. Considering how the shop owner wants to murderize us, we really don't have much use for it. There's one other thing, there's one thing we need to buy, but that, that'll that take like 600 rupees. I think it's like 699 or something like that. I never liked these things. They're, I mean, I like, I like their design. I'm like, ooh, cool, that's a cool idea, but something about them always bothered me. Oh, I'm supposed to go up first. Oh, frick. God damn it. I've been locked in the room with freaking Riz robes. Riz robes. Yeah. Only two bombs, bitch! I hate Riz robes so much. Might as well use arrows now. Uh, But they take like three or five or something like that. This one's easy to get across, and then boop! <laughs> I don't- oh, right. This gives you Crazy Tracy's medicine for free. But I already have it, so there's really no point for that. Let's go ahead through here. Gee, it's a dead end. Alright, let's get ready for one of the cutest boss battles ever. I love this guy, he's so freaking adorable. Wow. He's so cute, he barks, he's like, let's play fetch! I'll be the human, you be the bitch. His, uh, the hit detection's a little wonky, though, so this, it's an annoying boss fight, but it's not hard. You're not gonna die from it. There we go. Gotcha. Wait, did it give me, t it gave me two. Huh. Okay, then. Bombs! Alright, if you go up here, it'll just send you back there, so... It's a weird cycling thing, so what you need to do is go up this way. And now that we have the giant... Uh... Oh, right. Forgot about this. I think this actually leads to the boss key. I mean, the boss room, I should say. I'm pretty sh Let me check. No. It doesn't lead the... Wait. This leads to the boss key. Okay. And I don't have a key, so, uh... Let's see here. I, I need to go to the other place first. The place with the whiz robe that I killed. The four whiz robes I killed. Hopefully I don't need to re-kill them, because that was annoying. Ah, damn it! Nearly! I nearly had it! Alright, let me go kill those whiz uh, go to those whiz robes again. Because I'm pretty sure there's, uh, like a key or something there. Maybe the boss key that I missed. Have to switch to this item again. I'm pretty sure you don't really use- yep, they're- they're back alive. It's okay, we have a lot of bombs. Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't really use the, uh, these, um, secondary bracelet again, really. I don't think you really pick up any more giant boulders or anything. Oh, right, this gets you a, uh, small key, I think. It gave me a tone as if, hey, you need to find a, a treasure chest in this room. 
No, really? <laughs> Thanks, Nick Cage face. I love Nick Cage. Who else here loves Nick Cage? Raise your hands. Who, who here thought that Ghost Rider was a very overhated movie? Anyone? Or is that seriously just me? I really liked Ghost Rider. It might have been like why like I went to go see it with friends and that might be why I really enjoyed it because I was hanging out with friends for like the first time in like a year at that point, but I don't know. I, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. Then again, I'm, I'm the kind of person... Okay, anyone here read Homestuck? Because I'm seriously like John. I will watch, like, any movie. and will be like, yeah, that's a good movie. Even if it's unbelievably horrible. I, I can't think of any that I've watched that are like that. But I'll pretty much enjoy any movie. I just like watching movies. I don't know. I don't watch many, though. That's... I, I enjoy watching movies, but I don't really watch many. It's mostly a time thing, and also because I just like watching movies with other people. And there's no one to watch movies with. I believe you can stun them with powder. Oh. Oh, well. Okay, then that works, and then use, uh... Pots to kill the other two. There are, like, several weird ways to kill Pole's voices. I don't remember where this leads. I believe it... I believe that just leads to money. And here's some bombs. Or places to use bombs. These are apparently supposed to be Dodongos, but they seriously do not look like Dodongos to me. These are not Dodongos. You cannot look at these guys and be like, Yeah, that's a Dodongo, alright. I've seen plenty of Dodongos in my day, and those are some healthy, healthy Dodongos. Seriously, they're like goddamn worms. This is not a Dodongo. Don't even kid me. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, crappy ass movies. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but like... Just ones that I'm like, yeah, that, that was a fun movie. I really enjoyed it. And then other people were just like, oh, that was like the worst movie I've ever seen. Wait, what? I apparently can't open this. Do I need a key in order to open this? To open a treasure chest, use pots around it. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> you got the nightmares key. Now you can open the door to the nightmares lair. Okay, th that's, that's about as far as I got last time. I didn't get to the boss. I only got to the uh, Dodongos, so... Yeah. yeah. I probably should have gone uh, up. Oh god damn it! I have to kill these guys a third time. Come on, cut me some slack. I'm running dangerously low on a. Uh... Okay, good. I thought that door didn't open. I'm like, what? But uh. I was, I was talking about something, but I forgot. I seriously don't remember what I was going to talk about. I don't know. God damn, it's cold in my room. Seriously, like... The one... I don't know. The one day I'm like, I don't really want to be cold. It's... It's cold. And then every other day, it's hot as hell in my room. Seriously, the AC is always, like, all the way down, and it's always boiling. Whenever people go in my room, they're like, Why is your room so hot? And I'm just like, I don't know! Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that's bullshit. I didn't know that would happen. I'll shoot it with an arrow or something next time. God damn it! I'm wasting my time, game. <laughs> Skill! I knew where they'd be, because I am good. No, I'm not. I'm horrible. I'm awful. I am the worst human being you have ever met. Except I'm not. Let's go ahead and uh, grab bombs. 
even though I'm completely full on bombs. I don't know where any more of those, like, guys who you put, uh, powder in their, uh, in their little, like, well. And they're like, hey, I'm going to curse you to hold more shit. I don't know where any of they are, where any of them are. I'm... Okay, I'm going to go off on a tangent here and go back to this way. Because I'm pretty sure I have to. I think I screwed up a bit. Oh. Speaking of which, I hate these guys. I found out what I have to do, I'm pretty sure. You have to throw them so they won't hit anything. And if they do hit anything, or maybe not, maybe it is just luck. I don't know. Uh, maybe it is just luck. God, I hate these things. So basically, you have to throw it, and they need to land. Just like, up. And if they don't, they fall over and you gotta keep doing it! If it's a 50% chance, it's really freaking annoying and it's a horrible mechanic. Seriously, why even put this in? All it does is waste my time. Is there like something I'm supposed to be doing here? It worked the first time, and by the way, I have to do that again. You'll see. And I have to kill Paul's voices again. Damn it! Sweet bombs. <laughs> if some powder if powder's in some pots, I wouldn't mind that either. Okay, that's how you get that. I was wondering. Okay, here's what here's the other place. I'm pretty sure you just gotta throw it so it won't touch anything, but I'm not too sure on that, because that's what seems to be happening, and yet, they fall. I don't know, I just hate these things. They're really annoying. And my, my god damn, I'm so cold. My arms are freezing right now. What the hell? It's not like it's cold outside, either. I live in Georgia. It's pretty hot. I mean, yeah, it's it's fall, but fall isn't freezing your arms off cold. And even then, I'm inside. It's really sunny. There we go. Christ. If this just gets me money, I'm going to be pissed. I thought it would give me... Whoops. I thought it would give me, like, a key or something that I'd need to use later on. Nope! It's 200 rupees I can't use. I'm not ecstatic in the slightest. Oh my god, that just wasted me like five minutes. <laughs> oh no! Five minutes of my life I will never get back out of the trillion minutes I will have in my life. God, I don't know how many minutes I'm going to have in my life. I don't know how many I've already had. Let me think here. 60 in an hour. God, I don't know. <laughs> don't make me do math. Well, you're not making me do math. I'm making me do math. Whatever, you know what I mean. Hey, look! Guess what we have to do again? Fuck you, horse heads. I hate these horse heads so much. They weren't annoying like the first few times I did this. Alright, let me just throw them against the wall like this until something happens. There we go. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. But that's stupid! Seriously, it's like the worst mechanic. I hate the luck-based mechanics because they never, ever work well for me. Nope, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. How do I kill this guy? 
I don't want to jump in there because I don't want to fall down again. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to. Nope, I can't I can't laser him either. There we go. That's why I did the last time too. And it worked. Bleh. Ugh. Screw you, Wizrobe. I have to kill this Wizrobe, I believe. That was easy. <laughs> Alright. Boss time. I like this boss. I don't know why. You gotta bomb him, he's a face. Hey dummy! Need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. Gee, I wonder. You're a giant face! Could it possibly be your legs? I think I'm face I think I'm fighting a poltergeist. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Okay. So this is actually a pretty damn deep storyline. Like seriously, you're you're like, I need to save the windfish so I can wake the windfish and free myself, and everything will be fine and dandy. But then you fall in love with Marin, I assume. I don't know like her, I guess. But then you find out the nightmares who have been trying to stop you from waking the windfish are pretty much trying to save everything. And you may be the bad guy in the in, you are the bad guy in every, their eyes and probably everyone's eyes. If you were like, "Hey, uh Marin, I'm going to make it so you don't exist anymore so that I can continue living my normal life." Is that okay? She wouldn't think it would be okay. Hoots! The many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird! Hoot hoot! That's a hint. We have to fly like a bird, which means we need a bird in order to fly somewhere because we need to, like, go over pits or something. Okay, but first things first. I'm going to end this video because it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. See you all then!